today we are going to discuss the one more problem on tangents and normals. So, first let me read the question. Find the length of the subtangent subnormal at a point on the curve x is equal to a times cos t plus c t sin t and y equals to a of sin t minus t cos t. It is very simple. Parametric differentiation has to be performed here and we need to find out dy by dx. The dy by dx is nothing but the slope of the tangent that is m. So, after that subtangent formula and subnormal formula are to be recalled. So, substituting the respective values we get the value of length of the subtangent as well as length of the subnormal. So, that means the, let us solve the problem. Given x is equal to a times cos t plus t sin t. Differentiate both sides with respect to t, okay, parameter t. So, that means this we can write dx by dt, dx by dt equals to a is constant. Next, we have d by dt of cos t, okay, plus plus d by dt of t sin t. So, let it be simplified further. A times derivative of cos t. So, what is the derivative of cos x? The derivative of cos x is minus sin x we know. So, similar manner the derivative of cos t with respect to t is minus sin t. So, this is minus sin t and plus in order to find out the derivative of c t sin t. So, that means this is in the form of u v. So, what is the d by dx of u v that is u dv by dx plus v du by dx that means product rule has to be applied here. So, that means here t into derivative of sin t is cos t understood plus sin t into derivative of t is 1. So, now this we can write like this a times minus sin t plus t cos t t cos t are you following? This is plus sin t into 1 sin t. So, check for here check for the cancellation any cancellation is there. Yes, this sin t sin t will be gets cancelled. We have a times t cos t. So, this can be written as a t cos t. This is the dx by dt. So, now in the similar manner with the help of this one we need to find out dy by dt. So, let us find out dy by dt. This also given y equals to a times sin t minus t cos t. So, now differentiate both sides with respect to t that is here parameter is t. So, now this d by dt of y becomes dy by dt 
equals to a times a is the constant. Now sin t differentiation with respect to t d by dt of sin t minus d by dt of t cos t. So let us simplify further. So this equals to a times. So what is the derivative of sin x with respect to x? That is cos x. So in the similar manner, the derivative of sin t with respect to t is cos t. So now let us write derivative of sin t that is cos t and minus the once again uv rule has to be applied here. t here you can write better like this. So now t into derivative of cos t is minus sin t plus cos t into derivative of t is 1. Just check it very carefully. So now this equals to a times cos t and minus into minus plus t sin t minus into plus plus sorry minus into plus minus minus cos t into 1 minus cos t. Okay, now just observe, we have to simplify it very simple you can simplify the cos t cos t gets cancelled we have a times t into sin t that is nothing but a t sin t. Now what have you observed here? So now we evaluated dx by dt which is equals to a t cos t and in the similar fashion we have evaluated dy by dt that is equal to a t sin t. So next for the steps we shall continue. So in the previous case just we evaluated these two values dx by dt is equal to a t cos t dy by dt is equal to a t sin t. So with the help of these two so let us find out dy by dx. So that means now dy by dx dy by dx equals to dy by dt upon dx by dt. The very simple these two values are to be divided. So this equals to a t cos t sorry a t sin t upon a t cos t. Now what do you get? a t a t gets cancelled from basic trigonometric formulae the sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So obviously we get sin t by cos t is equal to how much? Yes that is tan t only. So we get tan t. So this can be considered as the slope of the tangent. So now slope of the tangent slope of the tangent is m that is nothing but dy by dx at t so that is nothing but this tan t so we can take this one as tan t so after having been evaluated the slope of the tangent, easily we can find out the length of the subtangent and length of the subnormal. Subtangent itself is the length of the subtangent. So that means now let us find out subtangent. Subtangent formula is given by mod of y1 by m. Now here the one question will rise in our mind. What does stand for y1? you need not get any confusion regarding to this type of problems. So this is y1 only, this value is y1 only. Instead of y1, a of sin t minus t cos t should be replaced. In the place of m, tan t should be replaced, that is all. So now this we can write now mod of y1 stands for a of sin t 
माइनस टी कॉस टी अपॉन टेन टी वेरी सिंपल ए बाई टेन टी इज नथिंग बट ए कॉट टी एम ए करेक्ट वन बाई टेन टी इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच दट इज कॉट टी सो दिस इक्वल्स टू नाउ लेंथ ऑफ द सब टेंजेंट इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ए कॉट टी कॉट टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइन टी माइनस टी कॉस टी okay now length of the subtangent has been actually evaluated the one more is there we have that is subnormal we need to find out let's find out length of the subnormal so okay what does the formula stand for for the to in order to find out subnormal that is nothing but modulus of y1 into m so that is the formula to find out the length of the subnormal so now subnormal subnormal equals to modulus of y1 into m so here also the y1 is nothing but a of sin t minus t cos t whereas m is the slope of the tangent that means we have to consider tan t so let us substitute the respective values to find out length of the subnormal so that means modulus of a times sin t minus t cos t multiplied by tan t so you need not simplify further just only the arrangement of the terms a tan t first write down so this equal to modulus of a tan t sin t minus t cos t hence the problem has been solved so in this way we can find out or we can crack the problem so i hope you might have followed well about this problem even some similar type of problems also you practice from the different textbooks